<laughs> uh, if you want me to see the charioteer, uh, feel free to request it. So, you know, I'm going to be doing mostly requests tonight. Uh, just exclamation point request, press space, type of tank in. Hi, little dog. I think somebody's... I don't know why. Um, here you go, little bud. Is this what you want? So he ate most of most of his dinner, but if you guys want to tip him, feel free. Uh, I did rebalance a few prices. Uh, tipping him was one of it for stream currency, but uh, more or less, I think he should be good enough. Just give I'm just giving him like little little bits of uh, treats tonight because he he is like maybe four main teeth again for anyone not most of you guys might know what Levi or who Levi is though he's a little dog behind me here or I guess he's not that little but <laughs> all right I'm gonna head up this way and see what I see thought about the other side but yeah we'll see Hello, Randall. Nice to see you. But, honestly, the Kursk thing... Like... I don't know. It's a little bit of a letdown. Like, I know that there's some rewards and stuff, and really all you gotta do is play to complete it. But, uh, it does seem a little bit lackluster for what Wargaming was trying to, like... You know, kind of promote it as. Oh. Uh, ooh, no, no, no. Holy crap, all of this is gonna hurt. Thank God. It's just if he pens me with HE, I am screwed. <laughs> Yeah, luckily, like, Levi's doing a bit better today. Uh, hopefully he's kind of back to normal after, you know, maybe tomorrow. But, yeah, these past two days for me have been, like, brutal. So, 4th of July, you know, is over now, but uh, it's still, it's still really busy. Lots of, like, little, little stuff popping up that is really annoying to deal with, too. I'm a little overworked right now. <laughs> Time to play a little bit of tanks. Yeah, like honestly, like it's kind of like the the M4 improved how it kind of looks like the same armor scheme, but it's not really any better than the actual M4 Sherman. Luckily, that Udes is giving me a little bit of cover to work with. This guy is just giving me giving me shots. I'm just really concerned about him. Oh, I missed him. Hello, Merlot. Arrowhead. Nice to see you too. Ooh. He didn't have the big gun. Awesome. And I also somehow bounced it. Bonus points. Oh, not gonna bounce this. Retreat. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the Udes. It's just... They're on the base somehow, which is honestly comical. Uh, I don't know how they let that E-50 up. But... As of right now, they're JPZ E-100. Ooh. Thank you for that shot. He's... I don't know what exactly he's doing. I guess he's trying to make himself a shot, which he might successfully get against me, but, like, I'm kind of just wanting to push here. Like, the AT-15 is one-shottable. But, like, this WZ looks like he wants to go, but these other two guys are kind of derping around, and honestly, they're going to put themselves in a spot that they can't... 
they can't push too well at because they're just going to get shot from the center. But here, here goes nothing. I am honestly tired of waning. So far at 3,100 damage though. Hello Historian, nice to see you. But like, they pushed our other side pretty decent. Like, we didn't put too many people over there, but like... I don't know why that took us as long as it did. Like, I know I had full HP, but... Say if I pushed and nobody else really went up there. And I couldn't, like, hammer it in. If I got one shot by the JPZ, it would have... Or if I had taken one shot from the JPZ, it would have taken off basically half my HP. So, basically I go from a position in command to, oh crap, I can't move anymore and push forward. I just gotta hide. So, it's one of those scenarios where you just gotta hope for the best and uh, keep playing it. Uh, at least somewhat patient. I don't know if anybody's still up here. I'm gonna guess there might be one. Yep. Not concerned about the people back at base, honestly. Track him, but he probably has a repair kit. Yep. I can take a shot from him now, I'm not. Okay. He went out of siege mode, so that makes it a lot easier. I think that might have <laughs> might have been a not a first battle on that thing. Because there's the Udez before it, but maybe the first one in a, in a while. 5,200 damage so far. Cruising along here. See, if you're not getting shot up in this tank, it's not that bad. <laughs> like, it's definitely not, like, a really good tier 10 medium when you compare it to other tier 10 mediums. But... You know, if you're in a situation where you can just use its gun and its mobility, it isn't that bad. Like, I just took my first damage in the match here, and that was kind of <laughs> my own fault. I'm a little annoyed at that because I could have won a whole battle without even taking a shot and getting maybe 6,000 damage. That would be pretty cool. Finally spot it here. But, like, I'll keep racking it up. Six kills, 6,100 damage. Thanks for requesting uh, the Leopard 1 here, uh, General Sharks. Pretty good match, I must say. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. Uh, like, I put myself on that flank just thinking, you know, I'd run into some things I wouldn't be able to, which is, is my first ace in this thing, too. I didn't think I was going to be able to push it, but I actually just complete it. Uh, medium tank 15 as well. Pretty nice. <laughs> Top gun, high caliber, easily the most amount of damage in a fight, but absolutely shut down to Udez, AT-15, ISU, JPZ-100. Yeah, that, that was a good one there. But, you know, the, the main fault of the Leopard 1 isn't the tank itself. It's comparing it to other tier 10 mediums, which is the main gripe against this tank, but... Hey, can't complain. Finally got this thing done uh, with uh, honors too, so yeah. So let me, before I forget to do this, ah, crap. Um, yeah, I completed it. I just want to see as far as mediums. I want to see if I missed any uh, with honors here. I thought I did, but no. I've completed every single... Okay, there we go. So, I've almost completed every single mission uh, for mediums in the personal ones with honors there. Which, let me just uh, fix this really fast. Thanks again for requesting that. Alright, uh, so I have Jumbo Sherman up next. 
Thank you very much for the challenge too, Merlot.